Just to, to welcome you to Mass this morning. Today is the Feast of the Transfiguration. And for those who are present over my head, uh, the center pane on our back window is the Transfiguration. That story of to be transfigured means to be changed. And I suppose that's our constant call because we're never going to have this whole 
life I perfected. So the call is to change and to change often. And in the transfiguration, it wasn't so much that Jesus changed, it was the disciples could see him differently and, and his light shone through. So I suppose we all can maybe pray today that for the strength to kind of change the areas in our lives where we may change. Pray for the grace to, to be people of the transfiguration and people who let their light shine. But also just, uh, there's a, a, a person today who's celebrating their 97th birthday. So we, we might mention 97, it's a, a fair uh, achievement. So we send our congrats to Eilish Hannon. Eilish Hannon is 97 today. So uh, I know the family may be watching. So we, we think of Eilish and we hope she's celebrating and lighting 97 candles. And there's an anniversary there for Richard and Elaine, Sarah and Shane and Siobhan and Ed. But as always when we begin, we draw back and we say sorry for our faults and failings. So for the times, Lord, maybe we've been slow to change our ways. Lord, have mercy. For the times we haven't been people who, who live as if we have been transfigured, that we have something sacred at the heart of us. Christ, have mercy. For the times we haven't let that light that's within us shine and so give light to others. Lord, have mercy. And so may Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. That's why we're here, to pray. And we think of all those people we pray for. So just for a moment in the silence, we call to mind a prayer we want to give to God in today's world. And so we give you and all those prayers and people in your heart to God as we pray, O oh God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son confirmed mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set in place, and one of great age took his seat. His robe was white as snow, the hair of his head as pure as wool. His throne was a blaze of flames, its wheels were a burning fire. A stream of fire poured out, issuing from his presence. A thousand thousand waited on him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. A court was held and the books were opened. I gazed into the visions of the night, and I saw, coming on the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man. He came to the one of great age, and was led into his presence. On him was conferred sovereignty, glory, and kingship, and men of all peoples, nations, and languages became his servants. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty, which shall never pass away, nor will his empire ever be destroyed. The word of the Lord. And the response, the Lord is King, most high above all the earth. The Lord is King, most high above all the earth. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. The Lord, the Lord is King, King, most high above all the earth. The mountains melt like sorry, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all peoples see his glory. The Lord is King, most high above all the earth. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord is King, most high above all the earth. 
Second reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Peter. It was not any cleverly invented myths that we were repeating when we brought you the knowledge of the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We had seen his majesty for ourselves. He was honoured and glorified by God the Father when the sublime glory itself spoke to him and said, this is my son, the beloved. He enjoys my favor. We heard this ourselves, spoken from heaven, when we were with him on the holy mountain. So we have confirmation of what was said in prophecies, and you will be right to depend on prophecy and take it as a lamp for lighting the way through the dark until the dawn comes and the morning star rises in your minds. The word of the Lord, the truth and the acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. This is my son, beloved. He enjoys my favor. Listen to him, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain where they could be alone. There, in their presence, he was transfigured. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Suddenly, Moses and Elijah appeared to them. They were talking with him. Then Peter spoke to Jesus. Lord, he said, it's wonderful for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three tents here. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He was still speaking, when suddenly a bright cloud covered them with shadow, and from the cloud there came a voice which said, This is my son, the beloved. He enjoys my favour. Listen to him. When they heard this, the disciples fell on their faces, overcome with fear. But Jesus came up and touched them. Stand up, he said. Do not be afraid. And when they raised their eyes, they saw no one but only Jesus. As they came down from the mountain, Jesus gave them this order. Tell no one about the vision until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. And so we bring our prayers to God. And on this the Feast of the Transfiguration, we pray for the Church. We pray that the church will be a church that's transfigured, that's always striving to change and be better and make up for its mistakes. Lord, hear us. We pray that we'll be people who are transfigured, people who make the changes that maybe we know we need to make in our hearts and lives, people who trust in the light that's within us and people who shed that light into the lives of others. Lord, hear us. It said, this is my son, listen to him. We pray that we will have a listening heart. Our lives are often busy and noisy, and sometimes it's hard to listen. So we pray that we'll have a listening heart, to listen to the word of God spoken to us in and through the people around us, in and through the bits and pieces of our daily lives. Pray that we will listen to others, because to listen is to love. Lord, hear us. As always, the message, the common message in the Bible is, do not be afraid. So we pray for the grace to trust that we have the gift of courage within us. And we pray that we will have that courage to, to face whatever challenges we have to face. But we also pray for those who are, are fearful and anxious, which is natural too. So we pray for them, and we pray, I suppose, they'll find the courage that they need uh, in, in, as they make their way forward. Lord, hear us. We pray, as I mentioned, as Irish Hannah's 97th birthday today, so we, we pray in thanksgiving for the blessings in our lives and the people in our lives who are transfigured people, people who shed light into our hearts and lives, people who listen to us when we need them. We pray that we'll never take these people for granted. Lord, hear us. As always, we remember the sick, those who have been praying for those sick at home and in hospital and in nursing homes, conscious of the man having an operation today, and conscious of uh, a lot of sickness that's around at the moment. So we pray for all who are sick and undying. We pray for all who are dying. We ask God to touch them with his healing love. 
Lord, hear us. And we remember our dead. We pray for all those who've gone before us, who've shaped who we are. Uh, we think of Mighty Tan's husband, Michael James, this morning. We think of Tim the man on his birthday remembrance. We remember Alan Murray around his anniversary time. And we pray for a man, Joe Hickey, who's been buried today. So we remember all our loved ones and we pray eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May perpetual light shine upon them and may they rest in peace. And we make these in all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you. It's the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. I'm trying not to kill a fly. He, he was uh, in the, the wine having a good time for himself. Anyway, we pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. God, sanctify these offerings we here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your Son, and by his radiant splendour, cleanse us from the stains of sin through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you revealed your glory in the presence of chosen witnesses, and you filled with the great splendour that bodily form which you shared with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of your disciples, and that you might show how in the body of the whole church is, was to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth in you its name. And so with the angels and saints we pray, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brendan, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember Michael, James, and Tim, and Alan, and all 
our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And it's through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so we pray our family prayer, and may we pray for the grace to be transfigured as we pray our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Please give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may that peace of the Lord, may it be with you always. And we pray for peace for each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. So we pray. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the one who was transfigured, so we too might be transfigured. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And we pray our prayer of spiritual communion for those listening and those watching. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. As always, just to remind you, for communion, we'll bring communion to you. And if you're sharing a seat, as always, with someone from a different household, uh, the outside person might step out, so you, you don't have to reach across each other. So thanks a million. And I, I've been told that uh, Mrs. Hannon is a big fan of Our Lady of Knock, so we'll play Our, Our Lady of Knock for her this morning, for yourselves, for communion. <laughs> There were people all of all ages gathered round the gable wall, poor and humble men and women, little children that you called. We are gathered. As we praise your name Golden Rose Queen of Ireland All my cares and 
Thanks for being with us and stay safe, stay well and God bless.